So hi guys, we are here today to interview a creative duo, the owners of Cloudatic. So let's go in and check it out. So hi guys, we are here to talk to the duo behind Cloudatic. Um, hey guys. Hi. hi. So let's start with the full names of yours. Yeah, I am Pavitra Dimelo. Okay. And uh, Akila Piris, Aki for short. Okay, so Aki Pavi is what you guys go yeah. by, right? Okay. Um, so I'm here today to ask you 20 questions, and I want y'all to be completely honest okay. and fun. Just, just be yourselves, all right? Uh, just don't be sarcastic, though. Okay, no, 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 <laughs> don't be sarcastic. Be nice to me. Um, so let's get going. All right. So what's on the agenda for today? Uh, as a team, you can say. Oh, as a team, okay. Uh, well, we don't really have a lot going on these days. Yeah. But uh, I suppose we were just going to hang out at home and uh, not really do much. Not then you came pleasure. along, so yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> Grab a beer or something later on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so, what got you into photography? I want you to like know your personal stories and like behind this. Mm, to me, of course, I started it as a hobby. Yeah. And. Uh, then suddenly I feel felt like this is something that I want to do and then I got a job at uh, the Sunday Leader as a photojournalist. Okay. And from there onwards it kind so of... So your career started, started off as a uh, photojournalist? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. And yours? Yeah, so uh, <coughs> for me also it started off as a hobby more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, then I got uh, more and more into it and at that time I think there wasn't really a lot of photographers like uh, you know as these days I suppose yeah and um, and then I got into got a job at uh, uh, Odell as okay. a fashion photographer okay. so then I worked there for about three and a half years and okay. the same time I was shooting a lot of events like uh, shows like music shows like rock shows. yeah like TNL on stage and stuff I was yeah. their photographer for a while and uh, at the same time I started working for a small wedding company at the time uh, and then uh, you know it just uh, they came it to, a, to you that yeah I mean it came to a point yeah it came to a point where I had to decide you know what type of photographer I wanted to be so yeah. so I thought okay weddings were one of the things that I was really good at and you know that's how it all started yeah, so. okay cool so how did you two meet and explain us the inception of Cloudetic, the name, like all these things? <laughs> okay, like, we met, we've probably known each other through this whole gig photography thing, mm -hmm. but I don't think we met. Were you guys friends? Like were you like just high by friends? High, high by, by friends. Yeah. Okay. But then we met at the place that Aki was shooting uh, for, for the, the hotel? photography. Company. Okay. Not for the Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, that's where we met. Okay. And then we decided uh, that yeah, we like could start uh, we could gel, together. we gel yeah. well. Yeah, that yeah. was the thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. and I think like uh, I always had the idea of starting my yeah, own uh, yeah like wedding photography uh, thing because I wanted to do something different for the time mm -hmm. because at that time uh, the whole uh, natural light uh, photography was not a huge yes. thing yeah. like there was only just a couple of companies I think only Amarante and Remini's were around at that yeah. time who were doing yeah. that so you saw so, an opportunity uh, yeah I mean more than an opportunity it's what I really wanted to do I didn't really think of it like okay, will people li like it or not yeah. I, I didn't really care about that I just yeah. wanted to do something you know and people seem to really like this it type of thing yeah it was it was coming along at that time so uh, so i thought okay i need to get together with somebody because i didn't want to do it alone i mean yeah, just why with not my alone? Uh, why not alone is because i never uh, like promoting myself as such okay. uh, because i would say i am a uh, well, I'm not introverted, but yeah. <laughs> but you're, you're not a shy person like both yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I wanted to actually be, like bring together a whole bunch of people who are really good at what they yeah. were doing. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, like in the long run, it would have been better for me to have a company which had like uh, like a whole the bunch company, of guys, and yeah. it wasn't just yeah. me or it wasn't just Pavi or it was yeah. like like everybody working together to like make something great. Yeah. So I think that's what uh, how Cloud Tech uh, was supposed to be like this. The name, uh, <laughs> the name is. Uh, <laughs> So I had like, uh, we, we were, I think we got really late to start the company because of the name, uh, because we were, right, I think from struggling around, to get like a call. Yeah, I think okay. since like 2012-ish, we were trying to figure out how we were going to do this and the name was the biggest thing and we were like trying to come up with different, different names. He right. asked me to come up with the name, I just... Yeah, and then every time we, and every time <laughs> both oh, so of it us... Also like, it was your part, like come up with the name, but yeah, then we had... No, we were both of us. And then we always got together, okay, let's come up with the name and then we ended up doing other things and like not coming up with the name. Name, name, and then it honestly just dragged on for like years like a couple of years like almost two years we did this thing and um, to be honest uh, cloud attic is a very random name okay. there i mean there is no though, there like, is no the like yeah there, there is no huge uh, meaning behind it i can make something up for you if you want <laughs> <if you like. laughs> 
Because yeah. I, I've also lied to certain clients when they've asked me what, what it means. <laughs> It's like it's a cloud. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then like, just come up with a really creative story. But uh, but to be honest, it was a very random name. But then it's it, it sort sort of had a really good ring to it. Yeah. And it, and it did make does. sense uh, in a way because like uh, for example, like a cloudy day would be like the ideal scenario for us to take pictures, like oh, the yeah, natural no, like. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. It made sense. It made sense. Okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and. Uh, and like an attic is like a place where you would uh, you know store your memories or yeah. like things that you know that you can go back and look you know so. so I think you should attic. work on this story because like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, After like, years of lying, I've come down to the perfect story. Yeah. No? <laughs> okay, so what's your go-to camera and lens individually? Okay, I'm a I'm a Canon person, mm -hmm. uh, so I shoot with the 5D Mark IV okay. and uh, prime lenses 85, 35, 50 is my mm -hmm. go-to lenses. I started with Nikon, then I went to Canon, but now I'm back with Nikon again. Okay. So I use the D850 and uh, go to 24 lens? to 70 is my favorite go to. lens. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Um, how do you manage time between work, family, and photography? Well, you recently got married, right? It's not I'm, so recent I've been married it's four years ago. Oh, okay. got married four years ago. I still then, remember the picture, so like it feels like it's new. It feels like. <laughs> you guys feel that? You feel the same <laughs> yeah, way? Yeah. Okay. All but, right. Um, yeah, I'm, still, time? I'm still learning though to manage the time mm -hmm. because after uh, my baby came. It oh, was, we have a baby. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's so news. I didn't been, know. She's been like only one year and one month. Okay. But I, I would say after she came, I had to. I learned a little bit more to separate work from uh, family life. Have like and separations, yeah, proper solid ones. Because okay. uh, sometimes I think even he's probably done it where we come home after a wedding and then probably still 11, 12 in the night, we are still trying to do other cloudetic work and then yeah. we won't have any other time. You go home and then back out yeah. at like 4 so a.m. it's a right? learning yeah. curve and then you try to balance it with your partner. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's getting a little better. So now I just You're getting a hang of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to be strict with not trying to do uh, yeah. work when Stick I'm spending to the time with my family actually. And you? Uh, yeah, I think like initially when we started out, uh, we didn't really have a proper plan because we honestly, did, it was very new to us, like, yeah. you know, trying to start a company. But then uh, later on, we realized that we uh, managed to get weddings in a way where we have gaps in between weddings, oh, yeah. where we are just not doing like so many back to back weddings. Yeah. So like, uh, so it became like, it, yeah, it's not about the money. It's just like we have to have our own time because That's otherwise right. we felt, Absolutely. yeah, we felt like if we did too much of weddings a month and then uh, towards the latter part of the month, we are actually like drained. Exhausted. Yeah. And, and then, you know, we are like. You uh, won't have the same energy, right? Yeah, more, yeah, yeah. We won't have the energy. Our team won't have the energy, and the creativeness just keeps going down. So, like, uh, you so won't, you won't have nothing to the attic to like. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and also, it's not fair to the client, also That's because absolutely you know, true. Yes. you have to give you hundred percent because they only have one wedding, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we so have to treat everyone. Some have to, but yeah. yeah. Some have to. Sometimes. We've done too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask this qu uh, question from Aki. How social media helped your business? How has it been affected? I think social media is the reason that we uh, uh, became known. Uh, mm -hmm. I think at the time, uh, like I said, at the time, there weren't a lot of people doing the, what we were doing. And for me to get those pictures out there, social media was the number one thing. We actually haven't advertised anywhere else yeah. at all. I think uh, later on, only after a few years, we just started putting like a few things in like bridal magazines. But those were not like the main driving thing for us. Yeah. Like so it was Facebook. Yeah, was Facebook, Facebook was the main thing. I mean, now Instagram is like one of the bigger things. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so Facebook was number one. I think everybody got to know us through Facebook. So uh, I would say that is the number one advertising tool that we had, you yeah. know, to since use day one. since day one. I think right now. Uh, uh, even if we don't advertise as much, people still know us because we have done quite a lot of work within yeah. the past four or yeah. five years. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so in that way, that is good. But I mean, if you want to get started and if you wanted to get your, you know, work right. seen right. by people, then I think, yeah, social well, media is the huge, number one. Yeah, yeah, it uh, plays a huge role. Eh? So aside from wedding photography, yeah. is there any other genres or like um, other photo uh, photography categories that you guys like to try? How about you? Mm, I actually do um, food photography. Okay. On, on the that's side. what I did before weddings, I would say. Okay, okay. So um, you're still into it. I'm still, if I do get work, if I have uh, time, mm -hmm. apart, if I have free time, then I definitely do some. Yeah. But you. Yeah, for me, I'm, uh, I still do like uh, some fashion on the side. Okay. Uh, because I did that for a quite a long time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I like to take that as like uh, just a fun thing to do. 
more or less but it's not my primary focus but wedi- because weddings are like my primary focus yeah. other than that like gig photography he and i both used to do a, lo- do a lot of gig photography that was okay. like so much fun for us yeah. but uh, now i think there's a lot of people to take gig photography so i don't think and like you don't need your wife yeah and there's no yeah and i would rather just go and enjoy the show now than uh, <laughs> take photos there yeah, right i feel like really enjoy the music those yeah. days cuz you always you, you always have to capture the moments right moment, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah you can't dance so, yeah. along with the camera right. <laughs> you can't dance like obviously huge <laughs> problems <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. So, what's your favorite part of being a photographer, Pavi? Um, to me, I guess it's uh, being able to document someone's uh, event or like something re- really important to someone and that uh, the more effort you put into it, you can get something even they don't uh, even think yeah. that will be captured. Oh, that's true. And um, it uh, means a lot that, you know, what we do on that day is going to last there signifies entire, like a whole thing life, right you know, yeah that's true unless they don't lose their memory <laughs> card <laughs> yeah <laughs> photos and things like that yeah but uh, yeah that that is that satisfaction that is very satisfying actually yeah. yeah okay cool what are some of the tips you'd give to someone who want to enter the enter to the industry aki uh <laughs> i think the number one thing is um, you had to be completely dedicated mm-hmm. to being a photographer if you want to become a photographer mm-hmm. there's a difference between you taking pictures as a hobby and you taking pictures professionally so there are i what i see is some people who try to do it as a hobby try to do it, do it on the side mm-hmm. as a thing yeah. i don't think it works like that because your quality will obviously go down if you are not 100% dedicated to whatever you are doing yeah. so you you need to be prepared to sacrifice a lot and it's always might not be fun yeah so you need to be prepared for that mm-hmm. and you have to be ready for like very repetitive things also it depends on the genre of photography you are getting um, into mm-hmm. uh the other thing is uh, you need to come with a mindset where you are forever learning you are never going to be you know everything yeah. like you know even oh, yeah. up to today i'm just like you know from young photographers there are really good guys out now these days so i'm like even from them i would get advice like yeah. you know it doesn't mean that just because i started before them doesn't yeah. mean i know more than them that's true So I feel like it's a give and take. So I learn from a lot of senior photographers. I learn from a lot of I'm young sure photographers. Sure. So and I learn from a lot on my own. So I feel like uh, you can never know everything. You're always learning. So I think you need you to go with that. You need to go with that mindset because if you go with that mindset, then forever you're trying to improve and you will keep improving yeah. and getting It's better and better. Easier. Yeah. So I think that's uh, one of the main things. And always. uh try to have your own signature style that important is the main thing it's very important don't to try identify to copy everybody yeah i mean it's it's good i mean uh, we always take uh, inspiration from other photographers yeah. but that doesn't mean i'm going to copy that exact same yeah. thing i'm going to do that but I in mean, my own not. style yeah so that is very important i think that will make you stand out from anybody else saying, yeah. yeah otherwise you're just going to be another photographer in the crowd so i think that that will really help cool that answered my question so um What is your favorite thing to do during time off or like times like this what would be like your favorite thing to do <laughs> Pavi Well during busy season of course not do anything at all like just like chill at home, home yeah, take it chill, in yeah anytime you have and <laughs> um, try to what we what we used to do those days what we used to do is we try to go out of colombo um at least for a 3 4 days are you all more into like beach or like wild nature like what is it um it, i am a, a bit of a mountain, mountain person. person okay uh, like yeah. so hikes and stuff okay yeah like beach, beach one okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. we used to go like that yeah okay anything to get away from colombo really yeah, because yeah. Uh, it yeah. disassociates us with work and you know so it, it, so being like, in the city just like is yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. and uh, yeah and probably spend time with my family yeah. and you know with our friends and okay already has the quarantine affected your workflow uh, yes in a way no uh, it has and it has Okay, yeah. tell me. <laughs> tell me more. So uh, when uh, I mean we were coming into a very heavy wedding season mm-hmm. when the the lockdown yeah. uh, started happening. Uh, this season right May, uh, March. Yeah, April. like May, June, July and oh, uh, and even March the that last week of March was when we had a lot of weddings. So uh, it got very hectic for us because uh, this was very uh, unexpected and even on the day of the lockdown I was getting ready to go for a wedding in yeah. Matra. <laughs> and the bride was getting ready and they announced the lockdown and then i literally had to pack my bags and come back she had to cancel the wedding so no. so it was it was tough so and then she, you know there's a lot of emotions going around people don't know what's happening that's right 
so we have to deal with it so what we did was uh, first thing was talk to all the clients to make sure that you know okay whenever you have the wedding we will 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 be there there's no additional charges because they are concerned about those things also right oh, when yeah, it comes to wedding yeah, yeah. Like so we try to help them out as much as we can where we just whenever they are postponing to make it easy for them to just postpone the wedding yeah and so apart from that apart from the weddings getting postponed uh, we still had work to do like yeah, at home so we the piles are back Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. like uh, we so didn't have a backlog. We didn't have a backlog <laughs> because we <laughs> we send things out really quickly. Did you think? How did you realize you had a backlog? Yeah. No, no, because suddenly because of the curfew, I mean, our editor couldn't come to work. Oh and yeah, yeah. We had the, and it's like automatically that just like people were like at home. They didn't yeah. have anything else to do, no. So yeah. then suddenly all these people decide all our clients decide to send their yeah. selected selected photos. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, uh, I think this is a universal thing that wedding clients don't send their wedding pictures on time, on time to yeah. the photographer. Yeah. I and usually like to, <laughs> and usually like to blame the photographer <laughs> for yeah, getting yeah, late. So what we did, what I did actually was I um, I took I took like uh, some old I went back and then I checked who hasn't sent my pictures in like four or five years. There are people like. Oh no, trust me, I'm like one of them. Six years been married, not a picture sent, <laughs> not even an album. <laughs> yeah. So if I was your photographer, what I would have done was yeah. what I did you was I actually mailed them and then I'm like, okay, now it's about time. I know you're at home. <laughs> Please send it so I can finish this up because I I I thought okay since we are not going to have work for a long period of time at least we are going to clear up as much as we can yeah. and just send everything up so we can at least start somewhat fresh yeah. so uh, so I think like the time I I mean I had work every day so like did it work the technique of uh, calling and getting yeah, the photos that yeah. and in the meantime there was a lot of other clients who sent everything at once so um, okay. so it's good but still there's a lot more to do but okay. we managed to actually so quarantine actually helped you all yeah yeah i did i mean it gave us a, a long break which is also good uh, yes. because we were needed, right? we were not okay. yeah we were like really tired and stuff so um, because uh, it's not like when only you yeah. take a break no now in this situation everybody, everybody got a break so it's okay you don't even feel yeah, guilty you, you know for taking the break yeah. i mean obviously financially it, it's it's tough because uh, you know there's not enough of work and especially yeah. for our shooters and you know other people who are yeah. working with us um so i mean he and i were more or less prepared for you know something like this to happen so we, so that's another thing about being a photographer you have to be smart about how you yeah. spend the your money is. and how you yeah you need to have like you know it's so what we learned from last year was this when the easter attacks happened and then that sort of yeah. affected you know things uh so if you are really smart about how you uh, work things i suppose you will be all right but now i'm hoping like now things are getting back to normal so yeah, i think yeah. everybody will be fine cool. yeah Okay. During the time, especially everyone being home, did you guys pick up on any new hobbies? Um, maybe like cooking. I should probably ask your wife about that, but like I'll ask you. <laughs> I uh, did not pick up any. Anything? Like, <laughs> okay, very open and honest. Nothing. Just I was just home sitting I like a couch. I do most of the cleaning at home. Okay. My wife also does it, but. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Say it again. Got, say it again. My wife also does it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I want to make sure yeah. I get this crystal clear so like she hears this too. <laughs> but uh, I actually got to spend more time with Elisa because my I felt that because of work most of the time when I come back from work uh, she's sleeping. Okay. And this is your uh, baby girl you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. So she's sleeping and stuff and uh, this period actually got made me get more closer to her and then she got more friendly with me and actually I was quite grateful that this happened. Okay. um but no skills were picked up for sure <laughs> okay how about you um i picked up the skill of staying at home <laughs> <laughs> being home and not being able to leave which is fine anyway i'm i'm quite used to being at home and like you know i, I for me home is my happy place anyway yeah uh, so I, it didn't really b- bother me too much at all but uh, did you pick up on any new habits ah uh, no not really okay. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughing>. <laughs> <laughs> not achieved anything except for actually i got super motivated when things were happening and i'm like okay i'm going to work out at home and you know do this thing two weeks down the line i'm like nah i'm just going to sit on my couch and watch netflix <laughs> <laughs> One skill I learned is to uh, be more diplomatic with my wife. <laughs> that, so. That's good. That's good. That's a skill. That's still, still a skill set that you've achieved. Okay, so tell us a secret talent that both of you have, but no one else knows. So I hmm. want Aki to tell about Pavi, Pavi to tell about Aki. A secret. Have this got to be like top secret. Only y'all know. <laughs> uh, well, I I wouldn't say that. This is something that only Pavi and I know. But uh, Pavi is really good at cleaning places. Yeah. Like if you need your house clean. Oh, he's the guy. If he wasn't a photographer, he loan a bounce or something. Oh, yeah. He is he is that good. Like there's like not a speck of dust in his house. So like Oh really? <laughs> Does it bother you? Like I do you have like a phobia of like is yeah, it one yeah. of those or 
Like if OCD? It, if, if, if something has to be clean, it has to be clean. Like 100%. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. We got about you. How about him? Him, uh, well, he's a really good uh, songwriter and a musician. No. And also, he's really good at pushing people in swimming pools. <laughs> okay. That's another talent you'd consider that. Yeah. Okay. That is, like, because he will push everyone. <laughs> Some, like you, nobody can like walk by the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, before the entire trip is over, like everyone will be there except my wife because she's. I think he's scared of my. Wife. She's a little scared. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. 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 So thanks for that. Um, <laughs> we can't cut it. We are gonna put it no. up. <laughs> we're not gonna go. We're not, nothing's gonna be cropped out from this video. I brought money also to pay you. Okay, so. later on, I'll take it. It's like, Let's see need, like you know, if I see somebody near a pool, I just have to push them. Like it's you just see, like, like you see them walk by, you're like, huh, you know what? That's just too good. Not Bam. even walk by, like, <laughs> like, like drag you them get and like someone else also to carry the <laughs> subject. And like bribe the them too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's the urge? Why? I need to go to the therapist. <laughs> so they'll think yeah. you're crazy. <laughs> All right, okay. So, um, e explain us your pre and post production process. Okay. Uh, so, pre, uh, I mean, so I'm going to be very specific about weddings. So, yeah. uh, before the wedding, obviously, uh, we have a whole booking process and everything is done. Mm -hmm. And then we make sure we sit down with the client and we discuss. Uh, everything that's going on and make sure they understand you know how we work and you know all that stuff so and make sure that they know that we are coming in as friends more than your uh, wedding photographer yeah because we like to keep things easy like where we just talk to them and you know be super friendly with them and stuff like that uh, and at the same time we make sure that they know uh, key points where we can get late and things can happen so you know we'd like to discuss things like that uh, other than that i mean i think shooting the wedding is one of the easier things that we do because uh, that is something we are just used to, and it's yeah. just yeah. if they are relaxed, everything yeah, just works out for works out for us. So maybe you can tell about the post. Post production part, of course. Um, yeah, that uh, we have to check, send the proofs. Then we have to uh, do the editing part, make the album layouts. Are you, know, you all personally all involved in it, or is just? The yeah, I, I mean, our, our we have to supervise it now. So mm -hmm. it's actually uh, all the post work is done between me, uh, him, and we have Oshia editor. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, just the three of us, I mean, it's like a very small, uh, very like not a huge big company like thing. I think a lot of people think we are a huge, like just giant company, but yeah. we are really not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are really not. We have a big, we have a big photography team, but yeah. like our post and everything else is done uh, like very personally. So I, it's like, it's easier for us to manage because then it's like, we are like hands on. Mm -hmm. And then we know if we have too much work, if you have too yeah. little work, you know, so it's very easy but to manage. We just try to stick to a workflow so that, um, you know, it's streamlined and it's yeah. the same for every client yeah, so yeah. that we don't uh, kind of prioritize one person over the other yeah um, and uh, that's about it we try to make sure that we deliver everything to the client very and each customer receives and, yeah, the same yeah, kind of yeah. service and we try to push the clients to uh, for them to take the pictures as soon as possible because yeah much we, easier from yeah. your end too right yes. yeah because i feel like some people uh, you know the late eight gets past their wedding yeah. then the low, much less interest they have oh, and yeah. then they are like like four years actually, like okay so <laughs> like, <laughs> <"See>, like you <laughs> so before that happens we want them to have the albums and trains and you know stuff like that so they can enjoy because they enter to that phase you want yeah, to show yeah, yeah. Things because because they i mean people do get uh, like really busy some people have children they're moving new houses you know things like that so then uh, I have put a six month uh, timeline yeah, and I put a six month timeline that they have to select the pictures before six yeah. months. Yeah. Okay. So then they sort of panic and they quickly send everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, aside from your camera and lens, what's your favorite gear, Pavi? Um, so if you say if you were to go to a shoot, right? So camera lens, you're obviously going to yeah. take it. What is this other one thing that you would not miss taking? I think I would uh, take like a off camera flash, like a studio light or something. Mm -hmm. I, just I, in case. Just in case. Okay. Just in case. Cool. All right. Um, what is some of the best advices you've ever received? I'm going to go individually on this. <laughs> it doesn't have to be necessarily about photography. Do not be sarcastic, please. <laughs> uh, Don't drink that. <laughs> So individually, I want to know. It doesn't have to be necessarily about photography. Generally, in life, okay. uh, I'm not gonna start with Pavi. I'm gonna go with Taki. <laughs> I don't like the way of his looks. I'll be a bit serious. <laughs> um, I think uh, uh, I think I've learned a lot from my father okay. because uh, I've like really watched him. You know, 
try to like really make it in what he was doing so okay. whatever advice he gave me was like sort of not to uh, you know uh, do anything halfway mm-hmm. you obviously have to follow through if you make a like for example if you make a promise to someone that you're going to do this you do it like there's no like going back and yeah. saying that you can't do it so i think that's that's really helped me uh, apply that to my work as well so then uh, so no matter how bad we feel and uh, whatever it is so the next day if we have a wedding we know that we have to be at this wedding no matter what like yeah. so there's been times that we've been like really sick like you know having fever and stuff and we still go on for the wedding even if you have to you know somehow do the shoot it has to be done so uh, it's one of those things that really helped us with our work as well and uh, and the other second thing that has really helped me was um, my uh, ex boss uh, lucy who was the owner of shade reproductions mm-hmm. at the time she gave me taught me a lot about how to run a business so, so then she um, what one thing she really told me at that time was never to devalue myself mm-hmm. as a photographer sure. so which still like sticks to me today it's not like you know uh, charging high prices it's yeah. just that she's like if you think your art is worth something your art has to be worth that yeah. you know you should never devalue yourself for anything for any, anything so i think that really helped me because uh, like because uh, since when we were growing as photographers then uh, we learn not to overvalue ourselves also yeah and not to undervalue ourselves so we just we, we actually have i think our prices are very decent to a point where they are just like we are not overcharging people or we are not undercharging people yeah. mm-hmm. so i think uh, that really helped me like keep a good business model yeah so i think those two are so whatever is paid for you they get receive the service accordingly yeah okay yeah. so pavi what so yeah, what to me would... it's patience mm-hmm. right because i've learned that the more patient you be in any situation like a little bit more patient has will take you a long way basically mm-hmm. like are you, a, you are you are really like are you really good at it are you like i am learning though okay like especially i used to get angry a lot and stuff and now i realize that anything if anything happens it's always best to just take a little bit more time and kind of analyze it yeah or give it a little time and it will go a long way it doesn't have to come with work yeah. even with driving Je- yeah right okay so, <laughs> starting in, from that yeah impatience in driving yeah. is what leads uh, to every that's kind true. of issue you know and you can apply that to your general life. in anything yeah. and like. even when this um, covid thing happened like in the beginning i was uh, feeling like a little uh, i was scared that you know what what what, what are going to do happening and yeah yeah but then this is beyond our control you know no. and then you have to be patient and hopefully things will get better yeah. it kind of helped me gave me a little peace of mind also with that cool okay so how do you guys stay inspired hmm because your work is very fresh every time i see your work it's very fresh it's new you feel lively looking at your work that's like personal like this is a personal compliment this is i'm not telling you because i'm like talking with you but i love your work if anybody asks me like who's the best photographer like like name me if you were the best photographers from sri lanka yeah. your name will be obviously like in the top 3 so um how do you guys stay inspired because like over the years you know it could be repetitive it's the same type of work you do but your work is every time it's fresh no and uh, this you know there's something that ooh factor that's it's like always there how do you guys stay inspired like that to like have your work in that quality uh i think um, personally one of the things is like um, we are not competitive like uh-huh. uh, like we we've, we've never entered any photography competitions or or like uh, look at another person's work and be like oh i need to do this we uh, try to treat every wedding like a new wedding and not like I think that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so, like shows that because truly it's shows yeah. it, it's the same thing like it's the same for you all it's the same thing but, but for them it's just like it's one different. is like yeah, and the thing, thing is yeah. it's different people they have different personalities some people like pictures some yeah. don't like pictures you have to read it and then always you if you try to do the same apply the same thing for every wedding then you will get the same picture repetitive pictures, pictures. Yeah. that's what i don't see in yours yeah. that's what yeah. i said and it's I like think, always uh, fresh and i think our team plays a huge part yeah, into uh, why it's like that because uh, every person every person in our team has been vetted like personally by us uh, which which it was not just about their photography skills but also their social skills with people right yeah. so then uh, that is very important i felt like there were some photographers uh, they couldn't communicate with the with the clients the and you know part, yeah. so every person we hired was like you know already established or maybe had their own little thing going on so we we never put any restrictions on them saying you just have to work with us but we've been fortunate enough that they only do work with us yeah, most yeah, of the time yeah. but um, i think having that freedom and then having them as friends then just your employees per se i think that really helps because then they tend to care about the wedding as much as you yeah. you, you give them an empowerment sort of thing. yeah because yeah. you are you are you, if you treat them equally and then they are not going to look at it as a job 
And yeah, they're, they're gonna be like, they're this is family. Yeah. Where they're just gonna come and just shoot, shoot and go. They give, put their give their best. Be like, best I have to get yeah. like the nicest shot I yeah. could possibly because take. I, they end up sometimes taking much better pictures. <laughs> they do, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes, like when we are really tired, they are super motivated. Like, let's do this, and yeah. I'm just like, no, yeah. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> just make it to the album. And yeah. yeah, they do. It does. It yeah, does. Really lucky to have so that's why, like, I think in a way, like I said, like if it was my name, like going in, or if it was Pavi's name going yeah. into this company, it wouldn't have been the same because. Like, Aki Pavi yeah, so if, if somebody has what cloud cloud edit is, I'm just like we are just a bunch of people, and then I will just put all the pictures together and say, can you say who took who this took and who took that? that? Oh, that's so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you can't, that means yeah. Then so that no it's a it's it's yeah. a team effort, like you yeah. know. So uh, I think I really have to credit the team, like when it comes to that, we to keeping us motivated. Also. We do follow uh, like like especially like like international award winning photographers. We do follow their work just for inspiration, mm-hmm. because the thing is they are the ones who are in the front. So if if the if the styles are changing, it's good to always know what where it's heading basically. You know? Yeah. So that you don't get stuck in the same yeah. style forever. Yeah. So do that kind of thing we use for inspiration, but um, you put your own twist and yeah, touch yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I think like uh, even when we are like taking pictures, we try not to uh, uh, take a lot of time taking pictures because what we tell them is. Uh, we have a very different approach where whereas maybe other photographers will use a lot of time to take portraits and uh, things what we try to do is like cut it down to the smallest time because uh, because i feel like your wedding day is not just about your pictures yeah, yeah, yeah. so when you try to focus too much on that then you sort of end up losing the time that you can have fun with people and you yeah. know like you know enjoy, enjoy your day so what we uh, what we try to do is like uh, get them super relaxed uh, to the point where the pictures are really yeah, actually natural. Natural, yeah. yeah. They don't have to like yeah. want to be candid. It's no. yeah. not. <laughs> and the thing is, wedding to us, wedding photography is not just about the portrait session, right? Mm-hmm. Because we we put a lot of work from everything from getting ready till the going away part. To, because we do a lot of documentary style, so it, it we there's a lot of focus that we have. Throughout the process, throughout the, throughout the, process. the whole wedding. So we tell our clients yeah. that this we spend less time here, but you have. You have like overall, you have overall like picture like, of everything. Yeah. yeah, and then I mean we were we are fortunate enough to have really good clients who are like just like yeah. our friends, you know, like. Yeah. So then when we get there, we don't feel like the photographer either. So then we're you know part constantly family, yeah, like part of the crew, we're constantly yeah. smiling, laughing, you know, making jokes. Maybe. So then that. Whole thing just keeps us inspired, so you know we are not like stressed or like oh god I had to go and shoot a wedding today. It's, yeah. it's never yeah. that like we never okay. feel like that. So uh, I think that's what keeps us inspired. Inspired and yeah. motivated. Okay. Um, what's that one quality that you all like about each other? Pavi about Aki, Aki about Pavi. Hmm. Good quality. <laughs> I'm gonna start with uh, Pavi. Okay, Aki. Of course, I. Um, he's like extremely driven. Like uh, that's what I really like about him. And uh, like I don't think I would have been, I, mean, I alone, if I did a business, I wouldn't be here because I used to be a very lazy guy, like he knows I've got scolded from him. <laughs> okay. So he pushed me in the beginning like a lot mm-hmm. and then it kind of made me into who I am right now. And uh, the fact that he's very straightforward and if he wants to say something, he just says like it. Right and up, stuff like take that. it and go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's the quality, yeah. straightforward and being uh, very driven. Yeah. And what do you have to say about this young gentleman over here? Ah, and he's taste in music. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll, I'll so try. okay. Uh, uh, so with Pavi, it was um, so basically like what he said. Like I'm uh, super driven, and like you know, I need yeah. to get things done. I need this to happen right now. I'm very controlling. I can be yeah. very controlling. I know that. I'm aware of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but in case you didn't know, he's aware. Yeah, <laughs> but I think, but I think I'm really glad that Pavi was there because he. Uh, sort of neutralizes me when I'm like sort of going over yeah. controlling yeah. which something sometimes I don't realize that I'm doing so like I expect things from people I'm just like if I tell you to do this you have to do this sort of thing and Pavi will just come and tell me like no no just chill like you know just let calm, them calm, yeah calm yeah, down yeah. so I think he's very diplomatic when it comes to dealing with people yeah, sometimes I mean every person gets angry at their team yeah. and I am yeah. one of those guys who like get really angry but not all the time <laughs> but uh, then Pavi is more of a you calm and like you know even with people how he deals with people is like a very calming you know oh, like yeah. way that he knows how to you know when people are going over and I, I, I can get like super angry most of the time so I think that really helps me to keep me also like you know level there okay like yin and yang yin and yang yin and yang okay all right so the very last question for the two of you how important is teamwork for you guys and tell us how you two are doing it so well for so long uh well teamwork is really really important because we you can't move forward if 
both of you are not on the same page mm -hmm. and um, it's very important to compromise like there are ideas that Aki likes that I don't like and then same vice versa but rather than like we don't try to have conflicts over it mm -hmm. I mean over the years we have learned a lot how to, to deal how to deal with each other also so then um, we try to like mostly compromise so like sometimes something that I like if he doesn't like it might it might make sense to me because he sometimes has a little bit more analytical way of thinking of mm -hmm. a certain thing that I would like to do May, but again it's just patience so if you give a little time then you yourself will realize okay no this is why mm -hmm. but um, I think um, I think now we are at probably yeah. like this. I think like anyway in the beginning it was like trying to iron out Things. Yeah, we didn't know each other that yeah. well, yeah. so you know, we didn't know You know, each like other. ironing out small, small details yeah. was like pretty tough, you know, like obviously we used, we used to like get really angry at each other. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's actually, I think it's very difficult to uh, have a partnership unless you're married or something, you know. Yeah. 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 Like even then it can be hard, but... <laughs> yeah, it is. That's yeah. what I'm thinking, because it's yeah. been so long and you all are like completely two different individuals. Not even like yeah. brothers or sisters, like you know, like not siblings. Not so, financial yeah. level. Like, mm -hmm. so yeah, like, and I think uh, one of the main things was like we never had issues with money. Like yeah. uh, I think that's one of the I things. I think that would be like one like yes. striking point yeah. for like yeah. any team yeah. to split yeah. up. For us, money was the last thing on our minds. Yeah. So, like it's like just, uh, you know, make doing like a good job meant so much more than, yeah. you know, just... Achieving yeah. things, yeah. Like monetary, monetary stuff. Yeah, stuff. Okay. Uh, so I think that is one thing that has kept us going for a long time, yeah. like this. Um, and I don't. I th I feel like right now we are in a really good place where we are, we are just. You're like married. You're yeah. Married. Yeah. No. Where 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 he doesn't where he, yeah where he doesn't have to look at what I'm doing or I don't have to look at what he's doing and I like you know everything is just happening. That's complete so, trust yeah. and loyalty. But we we <laughs> do, we do always communicate what we we want to do so yeah. that you know suddenly. I, either one of us don't like find something that yeah. we don't maybe agree with. Yeah. So then it's easy to it's easier when you so communication is vital yeah, it's in teamwork. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm done for the day, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank it was you. a pleasure talking to you all because. I've actually never spent time with you talking. It's just like you all come like to the showroom or whatever. Never really actually spoken to you at yeah. all. <laughs> so it's very, very good to talk to you all. Thank you for your time. And I shall see you all soon at some so, point. Thank you, thank so you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Ciao.